American Bison. I'm going to take you through the casting process fairly quickly. After I finish sculpting a piece, a silicon rubber mold is applied in sections. A foam mother mold is then sprayed on. The mold sections are removed from the sculpture and then cleaned up. The rubber mold is put back together and several wax layers are coated inside the rubber mold. The wax is then removed from the mold, cleaned up, and attached to sprues. The sprued pieces are then dipped into a silicon gel slurry and then dipped into a silica sand. The applying of the silica slurry and sand is repeated nine to ten times. The dried silicon shell is as hard as cement. The silicon shell is heated to a thousand degrees and all the wax melts out. Bronze is then heated to 2400 degrees and poured into the ceramic shell. The ceramic shell is removed from the cooled bronze. The bronze pieces are then welded together. The weld seams are then cleaned up with a series of grinders. Notice the yellow strap above the sculpture. Occasionally we have to use a winch to lift the big ones. On a larger sculpture such as this, we'll put stainless steel support up through the legs and also put stainless steel cross braces through the base. Here, bronze shims are being added to make sure that the base is level. The piece is then sandblasted to give it an even texture, after which chemicals are applied for the patina of choice. Hot wax is applied to seal the patina. The sculpture is then loaded on a trailer. We secure the piece with tie-down straps ready for delivery. Most folks place the monument on cement pedestals. Others place them on giant rocks and quite a number of people just set them directly upon the ground.